Hello everyone, I'm Kong Tat. Welcome back to my FB Live, the hour before midnight basic accounting. I hope everyone have a fruit, fruitful day today. Well, um, today let's explore on a liquid, liquidity ratio, or some may call it solvency ratio, and what it means also by uh, acid test ratio. Okay, so let us explore this together for this session. Um, Okay, it's the short-term solvency ratios are intended to provide information about a firm's liquidity. All right, the liquidity it basically it means that um, how uh, cash ready are you at any point of time? All right, uh, cash ready in your company. How cash ready are you? How how cash prepared are you in your company at any point in time? All right. The primary concern is the firm's ability to pay its bills uh, over the short run without undue stress. Okay, that's where um, your your short term creditors would actually be interesting interested to know about your company's um, uh, short term solvency. All right, uh, that's why they will actually do a short term solvency uh, test ratio on your company based on certain formula which I would explain okay and uh, one of the best known and widely used liquidity ratio is actually uh, what we call the current ratio all right current ratio so current ratio uh, the formula to calculate current ratio basically is the current assets um, divided by the current liabilities all right and the basically um, current assets and current liability it means that the assets and liabilities are current meaning they are not outstanding for more than 12 months that's why it's uh, classified as current okay so uh, current assets is basically like your cash book or right? your cash at bank your trade receivables or your recoverable deposit which you have paid those are current assets Whereas current liabilities are like your unpaid creditors, unpaid suppl or suppliers, or any short-term loans that your company has taken on. Okay, so um, current assets and current li liabilities are us usually able to convert in cash over the following 12 months. Thus, the current ratio uh, is a measure of the short-term liquidity of your company. Okay, now... Um, the unit of measurement for our current ratio is either uh, you name a term it has dollars or it can be number of times. Okay, so uh, if your total current assets, for example, let's say you have a total current asset, yeah, and you have thirteen thousand, and your total liabilities you have ten thousand. So what does this mean in your current ratio? It means that your company has like one point three times or rather one dollar thirty cents uh in current assets over your current liabilities or in other words in in number of times is basically it means that your company has current liabilities covered one point three times over all right that's how it uh that's how we calculate actually the the current ratio of course your creditors would uh prefer uh prefer you uh, to have a higher current ratio so they are more uh, comfortable that you are able to pay them in, uh, in the short term but in the company's perspective itself the current ratio uh, if it's too high it could also represent that your company may be uh, inefficient uh, in using cash and other short-term assets okay so uh, it's like a chicken and egg thing all right uh, but but to really calculate the liquidity, liquidity ratio, basically, uh, you must have at least uh, one time. All right. In general, a current ratio of at least one time is expected in every company. One time meaning you're able to pay $1 of current assets against $1 of current liabilities. Anything that is four below one time, it means that uh, your company is actually in a negative uh, liabilities position. Um, thus, it may consider unhealthy. All right unless your company has a very large uh, reserve of untapped borrowing power all right so um oh hi sandra thanks for watching all right um now but to really test your real um cash uh liquidity 
all right you must actually go through what you call the acid acid test ratio all right it's a little bit different from current ratio current ratio is total current assets of uh, divided by current liabilities you get your number of current uh, your current ratio but um, in terms of acid test ratio basically if you have uh, part of your current assets uh, you have stocks closing inventories closing inventories in your current assets um, it you it may be um, how should I say it has to be like taken into consideration of how much uh, current inventories sitting in your current assets under your company okay uh, for example we take back the earlier example your current assets is 13,000 but out of 13,000 you have 8,000 worth of closing inventory and your current liability is still remains at 10,000 so what does this actually mean right now so inventory uh, because inventory is often considered the least least liquid current asset all right because the stocks has although it's a current assets you have a stocks but it's a uh, inventory stocks is actually inventory so um inventory has current assets but it do not mean you could actually sell it off immediately okay if there are no buyers to your to your inventory so uh there is some uh, risk in in terms of the characteristic of uh, inventories okay uh, whereas if you have cash you can immediately know that you have cash but if you have inventories all right although you have an asset it doesn't mean you could sell this immediately all right because people may not want to buy all right or because your your assets may be out of favor or damage or obsolete or lost or whatever reason okay so to actually further evaluate liquidity li liquidity in your company you have to use an acid test all right so acid test is the same way of calculating uh is how you calculate current ratio it's just that you take out the inventory take out the inventory so based back on the earlier earlier um, scenario you have 13,000 total current assets out of total 13 current uh, 13,000 current assets your inventories is worth 8,000 okay and your liabilities is actually 10,000 so what happens right now before before that it was actually uh, based on current ratio is actually 1.3 times you're able to cover your your liabilities right now if you take out inventory from your current assets you will only be left with 5,000 right 13 minus 8 is 5,000 divided by your total liabilities is 10,000 so notice that right now your acid test ratio you are only having like 0 0.5 times all right which is much less liquid liquid in terms of the uh uh, liquidity okay so this is really a more um, real test of your uh, solvency at any point in time in in any case that all your creditors uh, tomorrow they want to spend everything that you pay to them they want all the debts to be debts to be paid to them tomorrow are you able to pay that's the question you should be asking okay you cannot you probably could not sell your all your stocks overnight all right so that's why uh, when you have a uh, inventory or stocks basically typically you do not include them in your acid test ratio okay um, so just just be cautioned that uh, using cash to buy inventory although it does not affect your current ratio but it reduces your asset test ratio all right which is a more accurate test in terms of testing liquidity in any company as acid test ratio you call that so do note do note that relatively large inventories are often a sign of a short-term trouble in any company uh, because uh, the company number one may have overestimate their sales that's why they have such a uh, so much stocks sitting there or it could be the stocks have been over purchased or over produced if you are manufacturing all right as a result of all this then your stocks actually is standing at a very at a higher value and you actually although it's an asset you may have a problem with a short-term liquidity all right so um uh and besides that your cash is actually being tied up uh in all this slow moving inventory so you as a business owner you do have to be cautious all right in valid in relative to uh liquidity of uh your company uh, ultimately cash is still king in a way all right 
So, uh, so just be careful that do not overstock if you have a business uh, running on inventory level. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's all I have for today. Um, so, guess there's uh, there's no questions here. So feel free to actually post any questions or any comments in my FB live session on a weekday night. Uh, if there's any questions, I will try to answer them for you. Um, if I couldn't get an answer for today, I will actually uh, get an answer for you uh, the next day, and then we'll actually uh, PM you separately uh, once I get the answer. Because sometimes the uh, the questions that you may ask may be quite technical, so I need to do some research or get somebody to actually uh, explore the answers itself. Okay, so thank you again for watching. So um, and please continue with your lifelong learning because power is in your knowledge. All right. Goodbye and good night.